Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby, pastor of St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we celebrated here at St. Stephen Church this week uh, our graduates. Congratulations to our graduates and to the parents who helped to bring out, and teachers who helped to bring out the best in our aspiring um, graduates as they move on to the next level. Which brings up an important issue. How do we as parents, leaders, pastors, teachers, bring out the best in others? Anyone who is successful is because they had someone else to work with them and bring out the best in them. Um, when I think of my own life, I can think of a man by the name of Charles Mims. He was an alcoholic and a pastor, but an alcoholic. But before he came into my life and mentored me, I was insecure. Uh, I didn't have any true goals and aspirations, but he brought out the best in me. He made me feel like there was nothing I could not do. And if it had not been for this minister who was an alcoholic and friend of Muhammad Ali, the reason, the way I was able to preach the eulogy of Muhammad Ali was because I first met Muhammad Ali through Reverend Mims back in the 70s. He brought out the best in me. And maybe there's someone that you see that you want to bring out the best in them. It may be a child, it may be a student, it may be a church member, maybe someone in the community. How do you bring out the best in people? I want to spell out the word best and use that word best and give you some points about it. First of all, please know this, that everybody is like a piano. When every musician gets on a piano, they don't bring music to the piano. Music is already in the piano. What the musician does is the musician works with the keys and brings out music that's already pent up in the piano. <clears throat> now, if I play the piano, no music's gonna come out because I can't play. Our discord, discord will come out. But I have some musicians here at the church, if they play the piano, music will come out. And sometimes what comes out of you is based on who you let play on the keyboard of your life. The wrong people playing on the keyboard of your life brings out the wrong things. The right people playing on the keyboard of your life brings out the best of you. How do we manipulate the keys of a person's life to bring out the best in our kids, our, our people that we love? Here, we, here it is, I want you to write it down. B, believe in them. Believe in them. Um, it makes a difference when people believe in you. The reason I was able to rise was because this minister, Reverend Charles Mims, believed in me. Not the me someone else wanted me to be, but, but the me whom God has designed me to be. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 says this, start children off in the way they should go which means that every child has a certain gift, certain propensities, and whatever those gifts are, uh, if, if it's the gift to play music, or it's the gift to do math, or if it's the gift to technology, or whatever those gifts are, once you discover those gifts, then start the child off on that way based on how they are gifted. Believe in them. We're spelling out the word best. E, once you believe in them, Keep encouraging them. Keep encouraging them because they may be telling themselves, I can't, I can't, I can't. You've got to be the person who's encouraging them and say, yes, you can, yes, you can, yes, you can. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 11 says this, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are. Encourage one another, build each other up. Encourage one another and you encourage one another, hear me, with your words. Words can build people up or they can tear people down. How do you use your words? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 says this, Do not use harmful words, but only helpful words, the kind that build up. So you believe in them, B, encourage them, S, 
share with them. Share with them. Share with them what? And share with them your experiences. Exp share with them your contacts. Uh, let them meet people that can, that they, they can use as, as mentors and people who can perhaps be a segue to other things. Share with them, share with them your contacts. So believe in them, encourage them, ask, share with them, and finally T, trust them. Trust them. Trust them with what? Responsibility. When you take responsibility for someone, you take responsibility from someone, and they never become their best. Even if they mistake, make a mistake and fail, we all have. The goal in life, if you are a leader, is to make the people around you their best. Why? Because God does not often move the mountains. God helps us to be at our best so we can climb the mountain. God sometimes does not, when we pray, remove the load off our back. Sometimes God strengthens our back so we can carry the load. In other words, God does not reduce demand, the demands of life. God helps us to become our best so we can handle the demands of life. Believe in them, encourage them, share with them, trust them. And if you think about it, the reason you have become your best is because somebody did that for you. Pay it forward. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so quick to label people as incorrigible and impossible. But impossible and incorrigible is not in your vocabulary. Help us to bring out the best in others as others have brought out the best in us. Give us patience and help this word that we have received today guide us perhaps in doing something new in order to bring out the best in our kids, our, our relatives, and and people that we love. Thank you for your word in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us. Another powerful point to ponder. Don't forget every day for the rest of your life. Pray, spend some meaningful moments with the master. And during this COVID season, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can stay home.